Hi, this is Russ Anderson. I want to give a little run through here of the hold feature in Synthize 2008. Here we've got a shot and it's a full HD shot and the idea is that the camera in this particular shot translates upwards and then at a certain point it just spins in place off to the side. And this kind of a shot provides problems for match moving because during the second sec section of the shot it's not possible to estimate any ranges to uh, any or distances to any of the individual trackers in that portion of the shot. So uh, the idea here is to tell synthize that and there's a little animated control that lets us do that. So I'm going to just scrub through here and identify the start of that section and turn on this hold flag. And it, there's a little indicator, a magenta in it, indicator at the top of the timing bar there. And you see as I scrub through the shot, when I get to that hold section, it stays on. And, you know, the camera started holding in place and then resumed translating again. I could turn that hold bit back on, back off. Or alternatively, you know, the hold section might be at the beginning of the shot, whatever. You can have multiple hold sections, all kinds of stuff. But... Uh, the idea is you tell Synthize what part of the shot th that the camera is just not translating and just spinning in place. And that way it can give you a good solution even though you can't get any true 3D in that section. Essentially those sections are tripod type sections right in the middle of a particular shot. So we're going to fire, fire up the solve here. Uh, it is eight, full HD and uh, it'll take a little while. Unfortunately, this is on our Core Duo machine, Core 2 Duo machine, rather than on the Mac Pro or 8-core uh, sort of machine, which obviously goes a bit faster. But nonetheless, we're making uh, good progress through that. We're just about done computing the blips, the little features that are throughout the scene. And now we're going to work on the solve itself. And it's in this phase here that it's taking advantage of that hold information that we've set up. And there we go. Just to point out also the hold indicator is also present on the solver panel as well. So here's our solution. And you notice that there's actually two different sorts of things going on. You know, here's our camera down at the bottom. And here's a section of trackers. And those all look pretty normal. And in fact, those are the trackers that are in the first part of the shot where we can get an accurate distance to them. Then there's this uh, shell out here. And these are all the trackers in the second part of the shot that are really far-type trackers that are just directions without any uh, distance. And you know, Synthize displays those just on the surface of a sphere there. They're all the world size away from the camera. That's the world size value that's here. Uh, so you wind up with a solution that's that's a bit more complicated to look at just because you have these two different sets of trackers and I can just show you that a little bit more on the graph editor. I'll just switch that to the squish mode here and you know, these are the trackers that, that are up at the beginning that start the track as we go further down through the track, we get to a point where we wind up starting to have far mode trackers. And some of these trackers in here, the trackers have actually been split into two, two different pieces uh, right across the boundary that's the beginning of the hold mode. And then sort of in the second half of the shot, the trackers are all far type trackers. And you know, we don't have any uh, exact distance to them because that's not possible to compute. But uh, we do have the direction, so we can uh, take advantage of them and we have a complete solve for the entire part of the shot. And Synthize actually does some sneaky little stuff as it's doing that so that you wind up with a nice, fairly smooth transition right at the end, you know, end or beginning of this uh, hold mode. I've zoomed in pretty, <laughs> pretty far there. 
Um, but you know that that's part of the game that it plays, and there's to, to make that happen. And there's actually a special little panel that handles these trackers around the hold mode, uh, the beginning and end of the hold modes, and it it it, it all runs automatically. Um, but normally by default, but there are some games that you can play. Um, advice if you're interested in that, just uh, take a look at the manual. So that's kind of what the hold mode is about: handling these complicated uh, sorts of shots and still getting uh, something useful out of them. Thanks a lot.